Hello there and welcome back. My name is Elena. And I'm Fotios and this is the Game Court. And today we're go well, today it doesn't look like we're in our normal sin place. Place. I want to say scenario. Setting. setting. <laughs> our normal setting. Uh, we are traveling and we were discussing about the games that we took with us. So then this is what we're going to do now. We're going to mm -hmm. discuss about the games that we normally take with us on holiday. And uh, we don't take usually all of these games in holidays. Usually pick and uh, like pick some of the games, mm. and uh, we alternate each holiday with a bit of different games. And we have some criteria in uh, selecting which games uh, come with us. Yeah, I mean it's very hard to. Normally, when we travel, we travel abroad most of the times, mm -hmm. um, and we obviously pack as little as we can so we can fit everything in. But game is games are one of our very important things to take with us. Of so. Course. Um, the, the more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> yes. So one of the criteria that we look for is obviously the volume, how much size they occupy, mm. because we would like to travel as light as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, because usually we travel with planes and stuff, so we need to check luggage. We, we need to be careful of the of the weight as well. Mm -hmm. So we will not get any very big chunky games, obviously, with us. Although we can discuss about this in a minute, right? Yeah, okay, yes. Um, we tend to take a lot of games that use the same resources or the same equipment I would say so for example if one game plays with dice mm -hmm. we'll try not to get a hundred million dice if possible so we'll try to just readjust the dice to what we would normally play correct we don't need really the specialized dice from a particular yeah. game like a game yeah. that has a dice that has like a symbol on it for example we'll try to avoid that as much as possible mm -hmm. The other, the, other criteria, the other criterion is uh, durability. Criterion. Criterion is uh, durability. And basically because we want to go, let's say, to the sea or something like that. Or, or we're hiking and or you, know, you don't want to lose anything up exactly. on the mountains. <laughs> and uh, I mean, durability also has, has to do with, uh, you know, uh, a game being waterproof if you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do take some card games with us. Oh yeah, uh, what if you put it on the table? It's a bit yeah. hard, isn't it? It's, uh, hmm. You drop a drink over, then that's your game done. Rubbish. The other thing is a small footprint. Yes. Because usually when it comes to holidays, we don't have a very big table. Or if we even have a table at all, really. Mm -hmm. If we do play on tables, we tend to... I mean, most holiday places will have tables like this like one. This I'm one. sure you yes. can see the little grooves in here. Mm -hmm. So when we play a game, with, especially when we get a game with us, we tend to get a game that doesn't have a lot of little pieces that can fall in between and exactly. you lose them very easily. Exactly. So these are a few of our criteria. Yeah, the so, main ones, I exactly. guess. Exactly. And uh, not occupy a lot of space on mm -hmm. the table. Yes, uh, yes. We said that, we said about this. I think we said yes. that already. <laughs> <laughs> right. So when it comes to games, and we obviously uh, really like our paper and pencil games or roll and write games, this is the first set of games we have uh, with us. It's a fly around me somewhere. Over outside, yes. obviously. Yeah. So we, we have a lot of flies. <laughs> we have this box from a game, actually the expansion from Concordia, you which is a solitaria. All. Yeah, I, I have Next it inside. Thing, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's an A5 size box. And within that, we have so many rolling rights because basically what we do, we just put a few, uh, let's say, copies of a few player sheets, sheets some, yes, some game. of every rolling right. And we must have about 20 games in there, basically, mm -hmm. 20 different rolling rights. We have Yahtzee, which is played with yes. normal <laughs> dice, so that's easy to play, and that's yes. normally my choice. If you don't know what you want to play, a Yahtzee is always a good choice. <laughs> yes, sometimes in the holidays, all you need is something as relaxing as rolling dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll some dice. Yeah. We play a lot of other roll and rides, like yeah. we have Orleans with us most of the time. Which requires a few extra pieces, the chips that you have from the bag. Yeah, but I the mean, they all get chucked in the same bag, so it's Sorry, not... Sorry, when you say Orleans, you mean the... Orleans... Jean of Arc. Jean of Arc, Jean of Arc which is Orleans roll and draw, ride. Draw and write, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes. But then uh, we also have like uh, games like Rolling Realms in that, or uh, That's Pretty Clever. Or Castles of Burgundy, the, Castles of Burgundy, the, the, the dice the game. The dice game. Yes. Mm. And when it comes to That's Pretty Clever, for instance, all four iterations, there is uh, there are some files on which you can find, and you can find all four iterations of That's Pretty Clever with the same uh, dice color. Yeah, 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 that's super clever, isn't exactly. it? Whomever decided to do that, it saves so much space and time. Exactly, so super. we have printed some of these, and we can uh, use basically the same die as the basic, the, the first iteration of That's Pretty Clever. Correct, but the four, Ex four five? five? Five, six, six. Same, six. With the or not with the pink and the grey, the one with the orange or brown, and the... brown, not brown, yeah. yes. The basic ones, the yellow, orange, Blue, white, purple, and green ones. This, this, the six dice. Yes. Are you happy with <laughs> <Yes>. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in the same box, we usually fit other small games like you know, Quinto, like Quicks. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Chris so like Cross. little piece of pieces of papers, exactly. and then you just need a, a, a pencil or a pen, and then a bunch of dice, and that's you. Or today, in particular, we played Decathlon from Rennes. Yeah, that's Camisia. a new one, isn't it? Yes. yes. 
That's so typical. All of these games basically fit in the box, and this is the first category of games that we carry with us, Roll and Rides. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We like a lot uh, Hive. We bring Hive with us most of the times we travel. Hive is inconstructible. Right? It's, it's it, indestructible. It, it, indestructible, yes. You put it in the in, sand, in, you put it in water, you drop it off in 20 yeah. meters, it doesn't matter. And mm-hmm. you drop it off in between the grooves, it still doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Hive is a very, very clever game to bring anywhere you go. And, and we, we have, have the, the pocket, pocket, the yes, pocket exactly. Hive, so yeah. that's even smaller. To bring anywhere you want. Even if you're in the sea, you just uh, you don't have to make a little flat surface on the. Or beach you have towel. like the chaise long Yes, some beds things. In, yes, so you just g- play in a very very small space, and it's always very satisfying. Super satisfying, yeah. isn't can it? Play, can play two or three in a row. If you need a well. mind burner, then mm. that's your that's your choice. Yeah. If we need something a bit more challenging, I normally go for high. Yeah. Then the other game that we really like is a bogle, which is basically sixteen dice with letters, which you uh, which you. Uh, Shake, roll, 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 and you they, you orient them in a four by four grid, and then you try to make words like you go adjacent, orthogonally or diagonally, mm. and you try to make words, and whoever gets the most words uh, is basically gets more points. Or you can just house rule it, and you know make words until we get bored of it. We do yeah. that sometimes as well. Cooperatively. Yeah, as it's well. quite entertaining. Yes. It's quite entertaining. It's a yes. good game and to keep you it's occupied. Relaxing. Yes. It's relaxing. Yeah. And it does not occupy much space, and it's mm. technically indestructible, and mm. it's a very good game. Exactly. Just as good as a Squirrel. Squirrel yes. is a very good game as well for the. I mean, we have the metal box, mm. cardboard tiles, little version of a Squirrel. I know it does come in wooden tiles. It comes in big box wooden tiles. We, we don't have this one. We have the yeah. travel version. Yes. And I mean, it doesn't take very much of a space to mm-hmm. play with. Yes. It's not very good for these kind of tables. Yes. But you can play it on the floor, on the mm. sand, anywhere you have a little bit of a surface. It's good enough and it's nice and quick. It's a bit like a scrabble, but with no letters. One disadvantage of curriculum, I would say, mm-hmm. is that for my eyes, at least, because I have a, I have a bit of color discrepancy, if it is, uh, if the light is not very good, it's a bit yeah, hard, to, hard discern, to follow. Yeah. Yes, to discern some uh, like yeah. blue with green. Blue with green, I think, is the most hard to. Yeah. yeah. yeah we don't take it in every holiday, but yes. we've tried it a good few times, and it mm-hmm. was very friendly and very. We were very happy with it. Another game we tried for the first time in this holiday is. Yeah, uh, we course, just got it. That's why. Yes, it's Azul Mini, and you can also check our video about the comparison of Azul Mini with the uh, actual Azul. Yeah. And uh, we played on the beach this time, and uh, it was very nice, very satisfying. I, I scored a hundred. 13 points, I think. I rolled my eyes twice in this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I was, mean yeah. it passed the test of traveling and it mm. passed the test of playing in a non, yes. um, non-standard non setting. Yes. I, the most I liked about this game, I mean, you know, pieces all fit in and everything is good, but the tracker of the points has a little, like a tongue that instead of sliding across, it kind of moves, so you have to push, yeah. it, o- push it over, so it like clicks every time you move yeah, it. Yeah, it clicks, exactly. I exactly, found that exactly, so incredibly exactly. clever, because, mm. you know, you move everything about, and you don't want to, you, what you don't want to lose is your points, right? Mm-hmm. So I like that m- most about this game. Awesome. Mm. Very good game. Uh, sometimes we also like some uh, card games to travel with, and examples of this is uh, Star Realms, which is uh, one of our favorite uh, only God, that building. game goes everywhere, yes. doesn't it? Yes, our box is a everywhere. bit destroyed, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, uh, it's very loved. That's very, very loved, yes. yes. And it's a deck building game. It's uh, a new implementation of this is uh, the Star Wars, the deck building game. If you want uh, something to try something fresher, but we really like the, the Star Realms. There's also the Hero Realms implementation for a different theme. Uh, another card game that we travel with sometimes is uh, Red 7, and Elena loves Red 7. And you don't have to take the whole box with you, you can just shove them in a the other little box or just take the cards with you because they're only, it's literally just a deck of cards. Exactly. But exactly. They, for whatever reason, they made the box so particularly big, big for yeah. no reason. Like two decks of cards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yes. I, never mind. You can travel without it though, really. I mean, they're just cards. But I like Red 7 very much and it's a it's very a entertaining nice game. game. Yes. And it's a, a bit more engaging than just a rolling right or mm-hmm. not all rolling rights, but you know, like. Yahtzee kind of run and right. So if you want something more engaging and you want to, you know, have a bit of strategy there, then that's a very good game to take with you. And uh, Red 7 is like a bit, like you have a, a deck of cards in front of you, you have mm. some cards, and then there's the rule. So you have to play a card that that effectively you win by that rule, or you have to change the rule to win by that rule, by the new rule, basically. So ultimately, yeah. at the end of your turn, you have to you win have the to game. Win. Yeah, exactly. If you don't, basically if you don't, you're you just out lose. of the game. Yeah, that's exactly. it. 
it's a it's a nice uh, little mechanic over there. I would mm. say it's a fast mm. game, fast paced mm. game. You can play multiple times as well. Uh, talking about the card games, another game that we have actually with us and would like to try very much on these holidays is uh, called Innovation. It's a another civil it's a civilization mm -hmm. card game. And when we have tried, we'll talk more about about this game possibly in a future video. Yeah, mm? we'll tell you how it is. We've not tried it yet, but mm. we'll see how it works. And we'll see if it passes our criteria. Criteria. Our criteria. Keep, our keeping criteria. <laughs> yes. Of getting foreign rights, of getting games on holiday. Mm. Yes, and always, but always, always a deck of cards because you can make a million games out of a deck of cards. You can play so many games. And yeah. it's it's always very versatile and good to have. And if mm. people don't actually like board games very much, if you have a big company or you meet somebody on holiday, mm -hmm. everybody knows a game of cards, isn't it, of some sort. And it's always good to, you know, engage more people in. Yes. So, yes, this is some tra some games that we travel with, usually. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, again. So, uh, the Royal you know, Rights, the they always come with us wherever yes. we go. And then Is it a combination of them as well? Not all yeah. of them come all the time, because there are so many we yes, have. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, we, yes. you know, you do a selection of what mm. we've not played and, you know, all them all the time. But the other ones, usually we take two or three with us every, yeah, yeah, every yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean... We would like to know what what games you take on holidays. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give us some ideas for the future to be a bit more. Because we really like yeah. taking them with us. It yes, does take exactly. like you know when you don't know what to do. It, you know it's always time to play a game somewhere. Exactly. At one point you exactly. have 15, 20 minutes. Always time within a day. Maybe yeah. once or twice within a day when you get a bit bored. Yeah, you don't know what to do. Just too, too much sun. Bring like, something quick out. Yeah. <laughs> even when you go for a quick coffee. Oh, let's play a little quinto or quicks oh, or whatever. Bring the star realm. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Always. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, good suggestions. We'll really appreciate that because uh, our collection, we go through it quite fast. Mm -hmm. So the more the merrier. And one thing that we wanted to mention before we're going to say goodbye mm -hmm. uh, is... We tried different games on holiday as well. Uh, one is patchwork that we tried. Yes, patchwork. We took patchwork with us yes, at we one took point. Patchwork, yes, I mean, because I mean, it, it felt fairly travel friendly. Like it doesn't have that many pieces, but I felt that you need either to play on the floor and then your back hurts, or the table. It's never big enough. Yeah, it, uh, patchwork is a small game, but occupies a lot of occupies space. Occupies, like when you open yeah, it, the, exactly. the wheel, wheel itself is so big, In isn't the very it? beginning of the game, mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't think it's the most travel friendly. Yeah. Maybe they need a patchwork mini version. Mm -hmm. oh. They have a Valentine's uh, patchwork, they have yeah. a Halloween patchwork. They, they, they should do a part. travel version uh, of it. I'm then, up for that. But the, the pieces will click on that, like, like a blocker. Can you imagine? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's an, a, that's an, a good idea, business opportunity yes, exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and there's also another game called Pocket Master Builder, which fits in the same criteria. Whenever it's uh, in the box, like it's literally a deck of just a bit bigger than a deck of cards. It's about this big mm. and about this, this thick. It's a very small, very very nice game. It's as big as Star Realms. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Uh, like two deck of cards basically. Mm. Uh, but, but when you open it on the table, you need quite a big table. You need to make quite a grid, isn't it? Yes. And so. it has little cubes as well. Mm. And you know you have to place all those cubes in the end. Oh, look at the spider! It's a white spider in here. All right. That's, That's cool. cool. Um, and you have to place the little cubes in an intersection of the cards themselves. Correct. So, you know, you need to have a perf perfectly flat, non-holy non -holy <laughs> surface no. so you can place those little things. So that's a no for us. Exactly. Also, we tried because we write a lot, well, as you know, we like, we like rolling and writes. We tried um, Adrian's, Wall. Adrian's Wall at one point. We, we travelled once yeah. with it. But, and I mean, we only got like the essential bits of it. We didn't even get the whole yes, lot. Yes, I mean, you have to... Apart from the player seats, obviously, you need the resources, mm. you need the workers, mm. you need the cards. So it's a lot of things to travel with. So And it's you yeah. have to set up quite a lot of them. And luckily, we managed to play it. But again, it's it's always quite hard. The bigger the game, when it unfolds, the harder and, it is. And the more the components, basically. Mm. The same applies to uh, Welcome to series or Welcome to the Moon, yeah, in particular, yeah, yeah. what that we have. You have to have the basic cards, you have to have the objective cards, and then you have to have the different player seats. So, yeah, we, we tend to play these games back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, I think that's better. And also what we do, usually the games that we do tend to take on holidays... Don't touch the spider, please. I'm not touching the spider. <laughs> the games I can that, look at it and I'm like always oh, going to jump any minute. Right here. The games that we do tend to take in holidays, usually we don't play them so much at home, I would say. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. we, we, we keep them for holidays. keep them for that exactly, time. Exactly. And it feels very nice when you play yeah. them. It's, it always feels like a breath of fresh air. Yes, exactly. Yeah, lovely. So let us know what games you take in holidays as well. Yes. So again, we can take some suggestions. Yeah, we'd like to hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching our video. See you later. Bye.